There's little lakes like this all over the country where you've got an island just out of pole range. And at this time of year, you want to be fishing near that island because that's what's going to hold the fish. That's the main feature in the lakes. That's where the fish are going to be. This lake here today, we're on Willow at Packington Summer. The island's about, I don't know, 22, 23, four meters away. So a feeder is your only option to get near it accurately. And what I want to do with this feeder is fish just like you would on the pole, i.e. a small pile of bait, really accurate and precise. And this new little super mini hybrid is gonna allow me to do just that. Really enjoy fishing these little lakes in the winter because sometimes it can take a while to find them, but when you do, you can have some great sport in a really short space of time. What I'm trying to do with my feeder fishing today is mimic pole fishing, if you like. So I wanna feed a very small amount of bait a very condensed area to set a trap for one fish at a time. I've selected the super mini version of the hybrid today because it's going to deliver a very small amount of bait and with the water being as cold as it is you're not going to want to feed a lot today that's for sure but what I have done is select the 20 gram version because it's going to fall into the water very quietly. I don't want to be crashing in the big feeder today so nice quiet entry to the water but the 20 gram weight is still going to hold on the bottom nicely so it's not going to move out of the way when you put the feeder in the water nicely, in the right place, the last thing you want to do is move it. So 20 gram version is going to hold on the bottom nicely. And as with all the hybrid feeders in the range, the concept of the feeder is a great fish catcher. You've got a very small amount of bait, your hook bait right in the middle, nice short hook length. That's giving you great hooking potential. So let's get it in the lake and try and catch one. First F1, cold, slow start today. I've had a couple of skimmers, only a little and stuff to shout about. First decent fish this. I've just moved to the left a little bit into that bay, so I'm gonna pop him back, get my feeder out, because hopefully I've found the rest of the gang now. So let's get back out there. Even though with most feeder fishing, it pays to be really accurate all day, put it down the same hole. Little venues like this, the fish bounce around a lot throughout the day and you might see a fish top out the corner of your eye, chuck it on top of it and you found a whole new shoal of fish. So it definitely pays to keep your eye open and move about. A really nice thing about fishing little waters like this is you can rock up for two, three hours at the right time of day, next to no bait, next to no tackle and still have a great bit of sport. As with any sort of fishing, bait choice is super important. So I've got a small selection here with me today not too many, so I don't confuse myself or the fish, but hopefully they're gonna be the right bait choices on the day. Starting with what I'm gonna put in the feeder, I've got some ground bait. That's the mainline crushed expander. Great choice for this time of year. It's not too strong, but it's a great, nice, fluffy mix, very light. And what's good about ground bait in a little feeder at this time of year is when you're feeding tiny amounts of bait, just like little, like that goes in a little super mini hybrid like that is it puts a nice smell in the water but it doesn't feed the fish hardly at all so your hook bait's going to stand out and hopefully you catch a fish nice and quickly. Moving on to the micro pellets, these are two mil mainline cell pellets, been soaked up so they go nice and soft and you can push them in the feeder easily. Some days the fishes don't want ground bait for some reason, why that is I don't know to be honest but as long as you've got both with you you can have a little chop and change throughout the day, find out which one's best or even have a mixture of the both. Um, in your feeder. I always have a little spare bowl on my side tray so I can mix the pair together, have a few casts with that, that'll probably catch a few fish throughout the day. And if that's not the right thing to do, i.e. if you're feeding ground bait and you don't think it's right, you can just move to another spot with pellets, it's not a problem. So have a little experiment and you'll soon find out what's best. Moving on to what to have on the hook, I've got soaked expander pellets, they're the mainline cell ones again. Along with the feed pellets, I think that cell flavour is a great flavour for the winter and the cold water. The fish really seem to hone in on it. And dead maggots, old faithful. There's not a fish about it, I don't eat a dead maggot. So expanders, dead maggots, both a nice soft bait. I think soft baits are great in the winter. I think they're really palatable to the fish. The fish much prefer them to hard baits in my eyes in the winter. I think it's definitely going to catch you a few more fish throughout the day. So it's a few simple bait choices, perfect for this time of year.
quickly run you through the tackle I'm using today. Starting with the rod, only got a little chuck, so nice small rod. I've got a 10 foot Aventus feeder rod here. It's got the backbone for the casting. Not that we're casting heavy feeder today, but this rod allows you to be mega accurate cast, really straight, which you want to be putting your bait exactly where you want to be putting it today. So that's really important, but it retains the softness because you're playing a fish on a small hook, which we'll talk about in a minute. But so you still need the softness of the rod, but you need it to be accurate as well. And this rod is just that. The tip in the rod, I've gone for the one ounce glass version today. It's not really for the bite detection, to be honest, because you're using a short hook length next to a 20 gram feed. It's, it's still going to pull the rod in when you get a bite. But what's good about a very light one ounce tip is it allows you to sink your line without moving your feed. If you have a two or three ounce tip in it, it'd be really easy to move your feeder when you're sinking your line. So one ounce tip really helps you not move your feeder. Big important factor on days like today. Main line, I've gone for a 0.18 sample main line that we're trialing at the minute. It's a very low stretch, which again will aid accuracy. The thin diameter of this line will allow the line to cut through the water very easily. Again, helping you not move the feeder. Following on from the main line, I've got probably about three or four foot of 0.25 pure fluorocarbon leader, which you might think is quite thick and heavy, but that's for good reason. Fluorocarbon underwater is a very heavy material. Hug the bottom, a bit more inconspicuous than lime because it's very hard to see under the water. Again, no stretch in it, so it's going to enhance that bite detection. It's just a nice thing to have at the end of your rig to make it all a bit more subdued and a bit more camouflaged to the fish. Then I've got a free running 20 gram super mini hybrid feeder straight down to a speed bead, a nice quick change attachment there to put the hook length on. I've got a three inch hook length of 0.13 N gauge to an 18 LWG spade hook that I am me to hook on the two baits that I'm using today. This is actually a ready rig from our pole rig range. It comes as six inches as standard, but I cut it down to three inches to suit this size feeder. If I was using a bigger feeder, I'll probably use a slightly longer hook length, like four or five inch, it would just suit it better. But because the space is so small and the amount of payload is so small in this feeder, you want a short hook length, much more effective for hooking. So that's it. A very simple balance setup for these very small chucks on small waters. Fishing really nice and light like we are today brings a whole new dimension to feeder fishing for me. You know, it really makes you appreciate every battle, your rod's hooped over, nice small look, you really take your time and enjoy it a little bit more to be honest with you than when you've got a great big hook on. It's, yeah, it brings a whole new dimension to it. it definitely seems as though there's more fish stacked up to the left of the swim in that bowl. To be about the fifth or sixth one now, something like that, all F1s, a couple of lovely ones, lovely condition and chunky fish. A bit of pellets and ground bait in the feed, like we're talking about. Maggot on yuck. It looks like we're going to have a nice afternoon sport now. Fingers crossed. Get him in the net and try and get his mate. Little small venues like this, the fish are really switched onto their surroundings. You know, they live in there, so they know everything about their pond. And if you don't have everything, just right, just so, you might not catch anything. Like today, I started out, I was happy with my tackle, happy with my bait, but my rig wasn't quite right, as it turns out. I scaled down my hook length, down to a 0.11 hook length, you know, really light for feeder fishing, really, for F1s and carp, and all of a sudden, I'm getting bites. So that was the last piece of the jigsaw puzzle today, and it's set me off to a really good day now. slow start today and with being how cold it is it, I thought it was going to be a bit of a write-off to be honest with you but found the fish eventually cast a bit more to the left scaled down the length and we ended up having a really nice day it's not been prolific by any means but you know it's freezing cold so you can't expect too much but we probably end up with 10 11 f1s lovely afternoon sport and a little hybrid's done us proud to be honest putting a tiny little amount of bait right in front of the fish. There's been a really nice way to go about it today. I don't think we would have caught as much on a great big feeder, that's for sure. Get the hook out of him. There he is. 
good one about that size, really. Lovely condition fishing here. Let's get him back. <laughs> 